what's good hello hello beautiful people i am here i leave for thailand tomorrow and i'm packing <laughs> um i wanted to get everything organized i wanted to wash everything and really figure out exactly what i was bringing and what i was not bringing so the good news is that packing will go by relatively quickly the bad news is i have to do it <laughs> um got my hair freshly did I'll insert some clips. Um, if you anyone is in the Los Angeles area, her name is Lanny Styles. Lanny Styles, I believe. Um, I will drop her Instagram down below. She's lit and she does faux locks, which is great because not everyone does faux locks, which is definitely understandable, but she does do them. So yeah, um, I will show you as I am packing. Um, a lot of stuff, there's like a whole pile of clothes here. I will not be bringing those though because they are warm clothes. Um, and I'll probably just bring like one jacket. But for the most part, I'm mainly bringing like, you know, clothes for the sunny, the hot. Um, in Thailand or in Bangkok area specifically, I think the hottest or the coldest it gets is like in the 60s or 70s. So all that to say, it is going to be a hot year. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's that for now. push let's close this little bad boy up and that'll be it for the first suitcase I wanted to be able to get more of those clothes but that'll just have to go in the second suitcase oh there we go oh my gosh it's actually kind of alrighty good to go Okay, so um, I have completed the second bag. Here, I'll show you. Um, everything is fit. But here's a concern. So this bag is mainly clothes, the suitcase. The first suitcase that y'all saw me struggle to close was mainly clothes. Um, and I only have one suitcase left. Thankfully, I was a smart cookie and saved the biggest one. Well, this one and the yellow one are the biggest one. Um, but this one technically just has to fit everything else. So, uh, like, you know, makeup, um, bathroom products, my tapestry, um, supplies that I bought. They let us know that we should stock up on certain things. Apparently in Thailand, um, sunscreen is really popular, probably because of colorism. Um, everyone trying to be lighter and, you know, preserve their lightness. Um, so I will talk about that. <laughs> but I got a bunch of sunscreen also they're not really big on tampons so I also got a box of tampons and just like a bunch of other little things um, I will show you as I keep going but yeah so all in all all of this has to fit in this big suitcase um, technically some stuff can go in my carry-on but my carry-on is not gonna be that big <laughs> and it's gonna, it's gonna have to fit a bunch of other things too so I will keep y'all posted. We will see how this goes, but second suitcase down. Hello, just wanted to update you all on just some things that I wanted to go ahead and get from Target. So one of them is a bunch of Sensodyne toothpastes. Uh, they are not sponsored by <laughs> sponsoring this video, but I have sensitive teeth, so it's really important that I have Sensodyne. I only have two though, so if I need more throughout the year, I'll be there. I'll just have to either order some or just thug it out with some non-sensodyne but figured i'd get some apparently also in thailand they don't have a lot of stick deodorant apparently they have a lot of like aerosol deodorant and they I like the spray kind and i prefer the stick one especially since it's gonna be hot um you know just i prefer just this kind so i got like three of these because they were really like yeah make sure you get those um, I also got some ibuprofen, obviously for pain, you know, any kind of issue. I also got some Zyrtec for sinuses. That's somewhere in this bag. I'll go ahead and show. So here's what we're looking like. Um, I also got a bunch of disposable masks. They're in there. I'm not taking it out. Sorry. 
um, but they just look like this I got I think like a hundred just you know for every day walking around when it gets sweaty exercising and whatnot so yeah I got my shoes and they also suggested that we present um, them with a gift so um, just like something from America that's specific to America so I got these like sour patches you know what they had at Ross and I also got these um, almond roca I got like a whole pack of these so um hopefully they like them it'll probably be for the teachers the fellow teachers who will be you know teaching out there or just you know my students maybe i don't know so yeah all that to say everything is kind of fitting but at the same time it's kind of not so okay it is but it's like i just feel like there's like little things i'm just thinking about um i want to try to make a quick run to old navy and get like some professional clothes um but i don't know where those clothes are gonna go once i get them so we'll see about that um my carry-on might be a a little duffel bag which is absolutely fine but yes just wanted to update that things are things are coming together things are coming together today is the day I am heading out, moving to Thailand today, tonight. Um, it is Tuesday, October 26th. Um, it's like, I think it's like 2 p.m., 2 or 3 or something like that. My flight doesn't leave for until 11, but I'll probably try to... I live relatively close to LAX, so I'll probably leave soon. Maybe around like 7 or 8, probably like 7.30. Doing some last-minute packing, final touches. Um, I went ahead and packed my... Uh, carry on and this is my final suitcase with like everything but clothes which ended up being a some clothes I just tried to close it it doesn't really close <laughs> so we'll see we'll see I'm a I hope I don't have to get rid of too much stuff but at the same time you got to do what you got to do because I'm getting on this flight either way um I don't know if I'm gonna do too much vlogging like while in the airport I'll probably just do like some quick little glimpses my flight for anyone that's interested in knowing that I will suffer is 17 hours 17 hours it is 17 hours I'll be <laughs> I'm flying to Singapore and then I have a two no I have a one hour layover and then from Singapore I go to Bangkok and the flight from Singapore to Bangkok is only two hours and 30 minutes. But yeah, mainly it's like it's like really right there. So it's like a kind of a straight flight essentially, which I like. Like I like that I don't have, I don't have a lot of layovers. But child, that flight, that 17 hours. I downloaded some Netflix stuff. Honestly, I probably will download more. I have books in my checking in my bag that I'm be bringing on the plane with me, and I downloaded all the songs on my Spotify. So. I'll be entertained um, I'm pretty tired I did that on purpose tried to stay up a little bit run around so that way I'd be tired for the flight but yes tiresome I'm a little overwhelmed just a lot of like little things having to clean up but I'm doing it and I'm killing it and I'm gonna miss my friends and all these things but I'm really excited um, just yeah getting logistics together I'm gonna have to get a new phone number um and a Thai bank account and all these things which are probably boring anyway so yes just wanted to do one last check-in before you know I get on this flight so thanks
coming to you live from the hotel room about to do a little mini tour um i spent almost 20 hours in the air today i have no concept of time i think it's like 12 p.m here in la where i'm from it's like 10 p.m so no concept of time i've been flying through time and space literally but i finally made it to bangkok in my quarantining hotel it's really cute it's really nice let me show you all around all right so we got the entrance i'm gonna show you all the bathroom here looks really nice Ooh, almost fell. got everything stocked up so i don't have to leave the room um got all the soaps i'm like is that a bidet comment down below is this a bidet i've never really seen one got the toilet got the shower got all the towels needed so yes bathroom is cute then we come out there's all my luggage a mirror hello sis Ooh, don't look at that um <laughs> we have a nice little drawer situation tv a nice bed got some snacks and teas i already unpacked one because i am hungry got a little fridge let me see about this okay oh <gasps> is that a roach oh my gosh hold up <laughs> okay y'all i'm actually distraught at the fact that there was a roach in my closet i tried to rinse wash it out with water um i brought bug spray so i just have to unpack it from my bag which i'm about to do right now but i was like oh my gosh but y'all saw the room, so <laughs> that's where I am. Um, I called down, they said they would send up bug spray. Um, and then what's interesting now too is the meal situation. So obviously we're quarantined, so we can't really leave the room, but they set up like a service to where we just tell them what we want for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they bring it. So I'll show you all that. I think I ordered some like chicken stir fry with curry sauce and some guava so i'm excited for that i'm going to take a shower but i'm going to unpack my bug spray first so yes that is bangkok so far just this you know experience um still a little distraught by the roach but it's okay okay so this is my lunch let me see ah i'm trying to open this it's like a little sauce i'll see how that tastes fried egg rice and this is some chicken um like stir fry or something and then i got some guava Ooh. so yes we'll see how it tastes okay first bite of authentic thai food they say it's supposed to be bomb out here i got the chicken and rice Oh wow, that's good. It was actually good. It's kind of spicy, but I like spicy food personally. It has a lot of flavor. They gave me this little sauce. Sauce tastes kind of funny, but it's good still to me. I'm like a foodie, so I like to, you know, try it out. Okay. So far, first real time meal is good.